Hello and welcome to this video on lighting. My name is Tyler Valencia. I'm the president of KIPPS and Time to Train Fitness and your balance ambassador. Today we're talking about lighting. Lighting is important. If people can't see you when you're recording content, it's not gonna look good. So this video is for the instructor that knows they need better lights, but they don't know where to start. Where should I be looking? Lighting is different for fitness professionals that are recording content for an on-demand library or they're streaming their workouts because one, we're not taught about lights. We don't know about Kelvin's temperature of lights, but we know it's important. We know that we should have proper lighting set up, but we want to know the cost and if it works. Those are the big things for us fitness professionals, especially with the type of content that we're creating. We're moving, we're side to side, we're up and down, we're all over the place. So what lights work and what lights should we steer away from? In this tutorial, we're gonna go through three different levels. I'm gonna give you a basic, middle of the road, and then a high-end light, and we're gonna test them out. I'm not gonna give you so much the specs because if I read about the specs about each light, probably they're gonna go over our heads as fitness pros because we don't really know that kind of stuff and whether it applies to our workouts. But I'm gonna just give you a tad just so you know how powerful it is. And then I'm gonna tell you if I recommend it, if I think it's gonna be useful for you and your filming needs. The first one we're gonna go through, and we're gonna start at the bottom here, is the DIY package. So the do-it-yourself cheapest option out there for something that I would recommend. And it's right here. So this package right here, it's makeshift essentially taking different things and assembling it to make your own LED light, your light source here. So the bulb, you buy it separately, the holder, you buy it separately, and the holder right here, the stand, you buy it separately. All together, this comes in at about 60-ish dollars, and the links are in the description for this video, but this one, it's pretty powerful. As we look at the specs here, this video light can be used as a, its own light, but a lot of these lights, you're gonna to wanna to use them in combination. So this one, $60, and if I would recommend it, I definitely would. I would actually recommend this over a lot of the lights that I see on the market, especially ring lights. If you know me outside of these tutorials, I'm not the biggest fan of ring lights just because of the light that you could see around people's faces or if they're wearing glasses, you often see that light which becomes a distraction. This DIY light is solid for what you're getting right here. And would I recommend it? Definitely gets a thumbs up in my book. Just, just a little bit of background on this amazing power bulb. It's a 40 watt bulb. You plug it in, a two prong plug in. It has 3000 lumens bright white light. And this one alone comes in at around $20. If you're buying it with the rest of the items, the tripod is gonna cost you about $34 for two of them. The next light here and middle of the road of our tier system that we're gonna go through comes in at around $107 and it's the newer 660 LED panels. So I actually own this one as well. And as making this tutorial, I'm shifting around all the lights that are currently on me. So I took this one that was actually at the bottom here. It's sister or brother LED panel is off to the side. And I bought this as a package, but one of these, $107. And I have said before in different tutorials that this one, I think they're okay. Great in combination with the addition of other lights. That's my recommendation that it's okay for what you're paying. If you're buying one, two, you definitely need more than one in my opinion. And we'll show that what that looks like with just one panel, but it's okay for what you're getting. Lighting is a big pay for what you get item. If you're paying $60, if you're paying $100, $150, $200, $1,000, you pay for what you get. And this one, if you buy it in combination, it could work for what you're looking for. So now a little bit of information about the newer 660 LED video light. This is a dimmable bicolor light, so you can change it from 3200 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin. Probably not really relevant for us fitness pros, but essentially you can turn it down and turn it up to kind of change how it appears. 
What's cool about these lights is that you can change it to be appear more white or more yellow depending upon what other lights you are using and also what feel you're trying to get. A good application that comes to mind is with yoga. If you're trying to dim it or make the mood appear differently, that is something that you can do with this light. So last one here and we'll reach the top here, the level three most expensive one in this review, and it's the Amaran 100D. If you know anything about lights, you've probably heard of the company Aperture. And for myself, I've been wanting to get this light for quite some time. And if you are watching this in sequence, you probably just noticed a big difference in the light source. That was the main light that I had on me at the beginning of this tutorial and up until this point, and just swapping those other lights around to bring them into view of the camera, a big difference in how much output is now on me, utilizing the other lights that we just talked about in this tutorial. So this one, very powerful in terms of what you're getting price-wise. This was right at that $199, $199, right under $200, a little bit more with tax, but pay for what you get. Watching this tutorial, you probably just saw that switch. $200, quite a bit for us fitness pros, but it's something that I would recommend. You're paying for what you get, top of the pyramid here, but this light comes from a very reputable company. Other tutorials, that's one of the things you talk about, is is the company reputable? Great examples with microphones. With Rode, I talk about Rode microphones quite a bit, and Aperture, Amaran, reputable company, and this is their affordable line. So still $200 is a lot for us fitness pros, but something that I would recommend if you're looking for something good, looking for something that you know is going to be reliable and last, this is it right here, the 100D from Amaran. Some specification about the Amaran 100D, it has 5,600 Kelvins, 130 watts, which as I said in the beginning, probably not too important for us fitness pros. One of the cool features about this light is that it has different lighting effect modes. So they call them paparazzi mode, fireworks, lightning, faulty bulb, things to make it appear differently. Probably not too useful for fit pros, but something that is a part of it. Something that is relevant to this tutorial is what this comes with. If you're just buying the light for $199, what you're gonna get is just the light. It doesn't come with a tripod or the umbrella. Those are additional items that you'll need to purchase. So in this part of the tutorial, what I'm gonna do is do a little test. I'm gonna swap around the lights, just have that one light showing on me and basically show you which one it is and place it in the same exact spot so that you can see what they look like. Not using any combinations, just that one light as a main focal point light. Okay, so that was showing you a little bit of a test with just one light and what that looks like on a subject. As you could probably tell, mixture, mixture of prices and just using just one of those. A combination is often where your best bet is. So before we get to the finish of this, some key items to remember when choosing lights. Oftentimes, you're also going to want a diffuser. What that is, is an umbrella. In the description, you're going to see an option to buy an umbrella, or on some lights, you see soft boxes. It's a diffuser. It softens the light on the subject. It makes it look much more appealing to anybody that's watching it. So keep that in mind. That extra cost is can be cheaper. The most expensive light that is being used in this tutorial, that's actually one that has a diffuser on it. It has the diffusers that I use for the DIY build one. So keep that in mind when you're making your purchases. Do I need a diffuser? Yes. Where should I get one? What should it look like? There's an option for you that can be used with top and bottom of a price range right there. Last thing with putting together your lights is when you're trying to assemble, Keep in mind that you might even be able to just switch out one of your lights in wherever you're filming to make an effect. 
Something simple could be swapping out an LED bulb into the existing light that you have on your ceiling. Or if you have tubes, you could swap some of those to really help the ambiance, to help get the collective light in a space much brighter. We hope this tutorial was helpful. It helps you just on your path of making better content, making your content look more professional. If you have any questions about lights, whether it's a different light you wanna see or about adding colored lights, let us know in the comments. We're happy to make more tutorials for you and help you along that journey. We'll see you next time.